Hi guys, thanks for the great answer last week. Awesome, this is from Ben. I have been wondering about safe links ever since I watched the link building video and the IFTTT SEO training. A few questions, are they still viable links to use for, for YouTube? Yes, Ben, absolutely. Absolutely they are. Uh, where's the best place to get them? Well, the best place to get them is to do it yourself, is to go join the SAFE network yourself. It's a pain in the ass. I don't. I didn't like doing it. I did it by my, you know, myself a few times, but it was uh, just time consuming. I know uh, Hernan got really good at that, so he was able to sniff out really good backlinks very quickly in SAPE um, because he played in it a lot more than I did. I just didn't like it, uh, so I would always go to a bulk SAPE link provider and just purchase them in bulk. I was spending a lot of money on SAPE links for quite some time, uh, not so much anymore, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you can you can go to the safe.ru network and do it yourself. There's um, there there used to be a product that was like a, a kind of a desktop software that would run, and it made it a lot easier. It was called um, Saper. I think it was called Saper. S yeah, Saper X or Saper. Yeah, something like that. Something yeah, something like that. Saper or Saper X. That made it a lot easier. Uh, still a bit b weird. Uh, one of the easiest ways is the way that I preferred um, before I started buying them in bulk was just to go to a black hat forum and find uh, a provider. But Hernan, if you want to mention the best, uh, you, you always had really good providers for that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically there's, you know, you can go to the source and safe.ru is not the only network out there. Just so you know, guys, there's a bunch of others, but mm -hmm. safe.ru is the biggest one. Basically what you're buying is, you know, placement of links uh, that can be either hacked or real links, you know, there's a bunch of, of actual people offering their links that are not all hacked. So, but it's safe.ru is just one of them and you can go directly to the source or you can have a vendor like Bradley was saying, like SEO Lutions, for example, or Danny Jal, which is, which is a guy that will get you really, really good uh, domains. I really like safe.ru because within the mastermind, we have a process. Uh, I laid out the entire process that I use which can take, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes initially. And then it gets so much easier and it includes uh, Scrapebox and Majestic, you know, Scrape, Scrapebox and Majestic um, to kind of sift through them. But once you have them, you can get, I don't know, 40 trust flow or something crazy like that for, you know, a couple of or cents for monthly cents, you know, dollar cents or whatever. So. That's the way I do it. But if you want to, if you want to, again, go through uh, a source or a, or a dealer, if you would, I, I can put some links on the event too, so that you can check them out. It will yeah. be more expensive though. It can, it can really add up if you're doing yeah. a lot of safe links. If you're doing it on your own, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't add up that quickly. But if you use vendors, it can add up because you, you end up paying maybe 10, 15, 20 bucks a month per link. And uh, if you're doing it on your own, you can pay one buck or maybe 50 cents uh, of dollar per links yeah. because it all works on, on, on um, well, I don't remember the currency of Russia right now, rubles. but that's, rubles. yeah, rubles, rubles. Yeah. 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 And, and right now, uh, especially if you're in the U.S., the, the rubles um, compared to the dollar, the currency exchange is so huge. Like there's such a big difference that <laughs> you can yeah. buy a lot of rubles with a dollar, in other words. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just want to point out that, you, you know, when I was buying, before I started buying them in bulk, just for efficiency purposes, uh, when I was buying them myself, like I would get Trustfo, you know, 50 plus sometimes links for $2 per month, uh, which was huge, especially for YouTube stuff. I mean, like, I mean, huge for YouTube stuff. I would, the next part of this is I assume the best use of them would be uh, very last resort after the videos and channel have been optimized every which way you'd finally point a safe link in a video just for raw ranking power. Is that the case? And yes, that's usually the case. Like I would do everything that I, you know, we teach, I would syndicate a video, live stream it, whatever, but it would go out across my networks. And then, uh, you know, I'd set up a crowd search campaign and do all the stuff that I already have first. And if I wasn't able to rank it, if it was one of those stubborn videos that was like, you know, dancing at the bottom of page one, top of page two, that kind of stuff, or just stuck on page two, period, that's when I would go out and find a uh, safe link. And for YouTube, it didn't matter. At least it didn't. I haven't done it in about a year, but um, it didn't matter so much really what the niche of the link was. It was just the, the raw ranking power of the link that would, that would push it over the edge. Uh, if you can niche it down or, or get topical relevancy out of the link as well, or at least somewhat ballpark, same neighborhood, if that's, if, uh, you know, if that makes sense, then, um, then I would certainly do that. But all I'm saying is a, a, just a raw, like 
hardcore high metrics links. Not not something that I would want to point at a money site, but at a YouTube video, yeah, it'll work. Okay, and um, yeah, you can point it directly to the video. I recommend that you're using YouTube silos, uh, you know, using playlists in other words, because if you point it at uh, a properly interlinked video within a silo, then it can actually power up the whole silo. One link can do that. One really good link can do that. If your internal linking within the silo is done correctly, and we teach how to do that inside of YouTube Silo Academy. All right. Next, would you point a safe link at in an individual video itself or at one of the tiered properties linking to the video or something else? Uh, you can point it directly to the video. But, you know, if you want to add some diversity, you can also point to like one of your web twos where it's embedded. That will also help. OK. Uh, can you use safe links? Just by the way, Ben, you can test with these. If you're going to get into buying safe links, what I recommend you do is test different uh, injection points, right? Or test different points that you, or uh, places that you point the link to, right? Directly to the video, maybe to an embed property, maybe to the playlist URL. Try it with different things so that you can figure out what seems to be working best because it changes. I did a lot of safe stuff about a year ago. It's been a year since I've done it. So I don't know, you know, what's the best strategy right now. I'm assuming that not much has changed when it comes to YouTube though. So I, again, I would recommend that you just test some of that stuff. But that's a great strategy, guys. If you need some just raw ranking power for YouTube, uh, safe links are a good good place to get them for an inexpensive price. 